Hey and welcome YouTubers. Uh, glad you could join me on another video. Here we have a envelope which has been sealed and contains some hidden metallic objects. So what I did is I took the envelope and I taped it to a piece of x-ray screen. This is green fluorescent x-ray screen. Then I made this cell up here with some styrofoam. It's not very well shielded, as you can tell, but when I operate it, I'm gonna be hidden behind that car, which should reduce my radiation dose. So I'm taking this and putting it right on there like that. And this piece of card is to block out any light that might emanate from the x-ray tube. I'm gonna position the camera above it like that. I'm actually gonna use a PVC pipe to just kind of suspend the camera above the x-ray film. I'm gonna turn down all the lights in this garage. And I have a high voltage multiplier in that plastic container, which will provide the power for the x-ray tube. And that's driven by a flyback transformer. And any source of light I've covered over, like for example, this power light is pretty bright. So I covered that over with a towel and then um, to block as much of that light out as possible. And then to monitor the amount of radiation that's scattering around the garage where I'm doing this, I've got this small Geiger counter sitting right here and I'm operating the power to the tube with this, with this Variac. And the tube itself is, um, a vintage tube, it's a 2X2A. A lot of these were made, so they're readily available. They're not very expensive. And uh, when you connect your tube up for it to work right and maximize the X-ray output, you need to make the cap of the tube positive and the filament end, which is that thin rod that you see inside the cap, you need to make that negative. So when the voltage is high enough, around 20 to 30 kilovolts, even though the filament is not heated, there's enough electromotive force to throw electrons off the central uh, rod onto the cap. When they hit the cap, they decelerate and make Bremsstrahlung x-rays. And so we're gonna use those x-rays to see what's in this secret envelope. And then we're gonna open it up and confirm it. So let's begin our experiment. Camera's balancing on a PVC pipe. Let's turn the lights off completely and turn on the tube and see what we get. Well, it looks like there's not quite enough radiation. The voltage is too low, let's start again. Now we're talking. This is better, I can see what's in the envelope, metallic objects. Problem is, the ISO is too high, and it's overexposing. And also, I left the image on from the previous uh, attempt, so it's overlapping. Let's try again with a lower ISO. This time, I'll use ISO 400. This is ISO 400. It's way better quality imaging, and it looks like there's pieces of metal, Allen keys, screws, and other metal objects in the envelope. So I think I've solved it. Let's try one more time though. There's the image, it's coming up. Lower x-ray dose this time. And also lower ISO, I'm using ISO 320 instead of 400. Not quite as good quality as that first one. Let's open this envelope and see what we got. And 
there it is. Now let's compare this with our image. Really interesting. The x-rays look like they passed through that plastic screw. They look like they almost completely passed through this aluminum. And the jewelry was there somewhere. But definitely picked up the Allen keys, the washers, the screws, and the, the nuts and bolts. In summary, this was a really enjoyable video to make. I was able to solve the mystery of the envelope and do it with homemade x-rays. I'm happy I could share this with you and show you how to do this as well. But one of the things you have to be careful is radiation precautions. And I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you have some training.